In this video, we're going to be examining how to solve logarithmic inequalities. The first thing we're going to do is how to solve greater than and less than logarithmic inequalities are different. For your greater than logarithmic inequalities, if b is greater than 1, x is greater than 1, and log base b of x is greater than y, there's your greater than inequality, then we say x is greater than b to the y. For our less than inequalities, if b is greater than 1, x is greater than 1, and log base b of x is less than y, then we say 0 is less than x, less than b to the y. When you are dealing with logarithmic inequalities, you have to keep in mind our definition of logarithms, which I'm going to write down p equals log base b of n. We learned b has to be greater than 0, and b cannot be equal to 1. But we also learned, and we applied this with solving logarithmic equations, is our n must be greater than 0 as well. What we are taking the logarithm of cannot be 0 or negative. And this creates our boundaries when dealing with logarithmic inequalities. In this video, we're going to look at the number line approach. This is not my favorite approach to use. This is a more time-consuming approach. But I am showing it to hopefully introduce the concept to some of you, and maybe you can move on to the other approach to use. If we have log base 2 of x minus 4 is less than or equal to 5, with this number line approach, what you do is treat the inequality as an equation, convert it to exponent form, and solve. So I have my expression I'm taking the log of x minus 4 equals my base 2 to the power of 5. So x minus 4 equals 32, x equals 36. I then take the expression in the logarithm, the x minus 4, and I set it equal to 0. And that gives me x equals 4. I take these two values and I mark them on the number line. I know that my logarithm cannot exist where it equals 0, so there's an open circle. It can't exist at 36. I just need to determine where do I shade? Where do I put my solution? And the way you do that is just pick numbers. I picked 1 because it's the left 4. 12 is between 4 and 36. And 40 is be above 36. And I just plug them in. If I were to take a look, plug in 1, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And that means it's false because you cannot take the log of a negative value. If I were to plug in 12, 12 minus 4 is 8. Convert this. 8 is less than or equal to 2 to the 5th. So is 8 less than or equal to 32? Yes. Same idea. If I were to plug in 40, 40 minus 4 is 36. So is 36 less than or equal to 2 to the 5th power? 36 is less than or equal to 32 is false. And so my solution space only exists between these values of 4 and 36. And that is what my inequality statement says. Again, it's a lot more work because you're going to have to plug in numbers for it. But it allows you to see you're either going to be between these two numbers or outside this 36. So if I take a look at log base 3 of x plus 5 is greater than 3, same idea, treat it like an equation, and convert to exponent form. So my expression x plus 5 is equal to my base of 3 to the third power. So x plus 5 equals 27. Solve x equals 22. To find the boundary, set the expression that you're taking the log of x plus 5 equal to 0. Solve x equals negative 5. We then mark these on the number line and pick values to plug in and see if it creates true or false statements. So I plugged, here's negative 5, here's 22. I chose negative 10. And when I plug that in, I get log base 3 of negative 5, which you cannot take the log of a negative value, so that's false. I plugged in 0. Log base 3 of 5 is greater than 3. So is 5 greater than 3 to the third, which is false, because 5 is not greater than 27. If I plug in 25, is 30 greater than 3 cubed? Is 30 greater than 27? Yes. 
And so since it's true here to the right only, my solution space only exists to the right of 22. So x is greater than 22. I encourage if you do not understand the method one approach to at least do a few examples with this number, number line approach, this method number two approach, and see if you can find a pattern to make maybe a shortcut for it because the amount of work for plugging in is longer. However, mathematically, this is what's going on with the solution space on how we find it using a number line approach.